Hello and welcome to ALW Collectibles. I am ALW and today we're going to take a trip into the world of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And we're going to take a look at the Dovahkin. This figure here was released in 2015. I actually think I picked him up in 2016. I found him at a store just in passing one day. I got him and the Dra Dragonborn together, so which they're the same ones, just two different outfits. So I was very happy to get this. I am a huge Elder Scrolls fan. I've always enjoyed playing, and Skyrim is one of my favorite ones of the games. And this is him. He does come with two accessories. He comes with a short sword and a long sword. So let's take a look at the Dovahkin. For us, let's take a look at the face. He's got that helmet with the horns pointing down. He's got his eyes are right in here. They look like they have blue in them. Newer models that I've seen actually have like a beard stubble on him. This is actually a clean one. Nicely detailed. I like this. It's chesting. His shoulder pauldron actually has a design on it right here. Gloves actually have multiple. It's all one count. Was molded in one piece, but it's painted all different colors. And it actually has, looks like little ties on the inside. The sword, sword sheath isn't just pinned there. It actually has little pieces of plastic that hold it in place. Nice design here. Mine has a paint error when they painted it. They went a little too high with it. Nice fur texturing, leather with a studded on it. Boots the same thing, were all molded in one piece, but then they were painted separately and then they actually have little pieces hanging off like ties and this leather strapping. The bottom of the boots are just flat backs. Same thing, nice fur detail. Nice detail work all across. So I got a little design in the back here. The helmet's the same thing. Layer design. Articulation wise, this head does move a little bit. Can go up and can go down. This arm can go all the way around can come up that far, can come down, elbow rotation, elbow bend, and he does have wrist rotation, and it can come in and out. This one's a little bit harder because of this piece right here. There, you can come forward that far only, and back that far only. And all the rest of the articulation on the arm is the same. Nothing at the waist, really, just a little movement. Leg can come forward because of the, this piece here. Back does have a double knee bend. Nothing at the boot, but his ankle does move all the way around. And they can go up and down. And I think he's going to fall over again. There we go. Let's take a look at his blades. Very nicely detailed. It's got some nice detail work in the hilt on both sides. The handle's the same way. Actually, it looks like it's got lacing up and down. And he does have his long blade. You can see the differences in the size of the blades as I drop them everywhere. So 
So nice detailing work in the hilt and on the handle. It's got the lacing design a little bit on this. It's not as prominent as the small sword, but it's there. Feels like it's got grooving. Nice mold all the way through this. They took their time with these. And he can store this one. And he can hold either one. This one's actually easier to get into his hand because of the way it's designed. It just fit right in. And this one can come. This one's a little bit trickier because you have to actually open his hand up. So I don't like putting this one in his hand that often. But we'll see if we can do it today. You gotta push his thumb out of the way and swing it into his hand. Just like that. And there he goes. That's the Dovakin. From the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, 2015 edition, Dovakin. This is ALW, saying thank you for joining me. Have a good day.